taking you to San Pedro and Hamburgues Key, Belize this time. Let's go. I don't like this place. My journey to San Pedro and Hamburgues Key started from San Ignacio and I took the bus which took me through Belmopan and I made a quick stop at the Belize Zoo. By the way, Belmopan is the capital of Belize and it's the smallest capital in the entire world. So let's go check them out because they have some animals that I've been trying to see around like tapirs and obviously jaguars but it's not easy to do that in wild. Let's go check them out now. I generally don't support zoos but this one is an exception because all the animals here are Belizean and have been found or confiscated or they were domesticated and they can't be released into the wild. It was good to see so many of these beautiful animals but it made me sad to see so many of them in small cages. The only plus side is to get to educate people about them. I spent a couple of hours in the zoo and then headed to Belize city from where I took the ferry which took me to San Pedro. The entire thing took about two and a half hours and I would definitely recommend buying your tickets in advance for the ferry. Alright, so this is where you will be landing. And this is where most of the stuff is very close to. It's also probably the busiest spot in Ambergris Key. San Pedro is not very big and it's quite easy to move around. There are quite a lot of restaurants, although most of them are quite pricey and touristy. And there are a lot of bars which make it a little bit annoying. If you want to stay here, it gets really noisy till very late in the night. It is also a great place to look for tours, for snorkeling and diving, because most of the tour operators have their shops pretty much on the jetty. Golf carts, golf carts, and more golf carts. On the islands, you will need golf carts to move around. Do shop around because you can get one for 40 to $45 a day. That's the only way you can move around. So yeah, get yourself some golf carts. They're easy to drive. There's not much to do in San Pedro itself, especially during the day. So I headed to the secret beach. In order to get there, you need to either get a taxi, which costs upward of $100, or you can get a golf cart, which is probably the most practical way. I looked into cycling and then abandoned the idea because it's not a good idea at all. It takes about 40 to 45 minutes to get there. I am at Belize's worst kept secret, the secret beach that everyone knows about and it's famous so you have to come here. The secret sadly has been lost for quite some time now, judging by the number of bars there are, some of them are actually quite loud. So I kept walking to the right hand side where I got a little cabana, where I got to have some time to myself. On the left hand side I got to a little bar where I just sat in the water on a little bench and ordered myself some drinks, overlooking this beautiful shallow beach absolutely loved it for the rest of the day. So I think for that reason, Secret Beach is a must go. I wouldn't recommend staying in the main area in the bars because there were just too many screaming kids around. And while I really loved them, it was a little bit too much. By the way, have you checked my Belize country guide? It has a lot of information that will save you a lot of money and it will make your trip perfect. So don't forget to check it out. It is my third day here and I don't like this place at all. I thought I would give you a few reasons because judging by my surroundings, it is a stunning, stunning place. There's no easily accessible, nice, big enough beaches anywhere. Only small ones are for the resorts. 
Everything is overbuilt, like ridiculously overbuilt. There's just no space left to do anything anywhere. In the city center, it's really loud. It's very hard to find anywhere where you could sit for like five, 10 minutes. Even, it's just ridiculous. If you wanna have a good time, you need to come to a resort. This is where I'm sitting right now. But the problem is, if you're in a resort, you could very well be anywhere. Why here? Nothing local left here. Everything's sort of been overdone. This is the Zanzibar of Central America. If you can, I would definitely recommend skipping San Pedro and Ambergris Key. Time to go to Holchan. Who's excited? I am super excited. Be one of the best snorkeling experiences in the entire world. Let's check if it actually is. Let's go! Did you know Belize is home to the second largest reef system in the entire world after Australia and the largest one in the entire Northern Hemisphere? I was equally surprised when I found out. Holchan is a small break in that reef system and in the Mayan, Whole Chan literally means little channel, which is exactly what it is. So I headed there for some snorkeling. It is one of the most incredible experiences I have ever had. Whole Chan Marine Reserve is absolutely amazing. So amazing that I actually went back three times and I could go more if I had more time. Absolutely beautiful. And the variety of fish is incredible. There are beautiful sea turtles as well as rays. I got to see four eagle rays together, a family, which I'd never seen anywhere else. Really beautiful. And this is one place that I really like because it's more suited to snorkeling than diving. You just cannot miss this, honestly. Pretty much every tour that you will get will also include a stop at the Shark Ray Alley. And this is where you will get to see some nurse sharks and stingrays. Now, the practice is a little dodgy because they usually feed the nurse sharks. So as soon as they hear the boat engines, they all come around and you just get to see them. You can even swim with them, which I did and absolutely loved it. This is my second time with them after Maldives, so they're not new to me. I don't really condone the practice, but I had little choice, honestly. Good morning, it's a day to go see the blue hole, so let's go, super excited. Hole is one of the most amazing things to do in Belize. It's not very close to San Pedro. It's actually in the lighthouse reef, but most of the tour operators actually leave from San Pedro. I went with Amigos Del Mar and had an amazing time.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can take you to some more amazing destinations. If you want to find out more details on how to explore this the best possible way, the link is above, do check it out. I'm heading to the beautiful Key Kalkar, which is a lot more my vibe. So click the link above and meet me there. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please do comment, like, subscribe and share. And do let me know if you have any suggestions for your country. I would love to visit. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have a beautiful day ahead.